Meeker, Colorado. More than a mile up in the Rocky Mountains lies the Kalawayo Mine. To provide power for thousands of Colorado homes and businesses, this colossal open pit mine has to deliver more than 2.3 million tons of coal per year. The whole world depends on electricity. And without coal, you have no electricity. Hitting those targets demands truly extraordinary machines. And they don't come much more extraordinary than the Marion 8050 walking drag line. Weight, 3,100 tons. Boom length, 325 feet. Bucket capacity, 62 cubic yards. Too big to move on wheels or tracks, the dragline walks on 58-foot-long steel shoes. The mining process begins with a big bang. Seventy-five tons of ammonium nitrate explosive shatters the layer of sandstone covering the 15-foot thick coal seam. Then it's time for Tracy Mack and the mighty walking dragline to go to work. Are you in the clear? Everybody's in the clear. You can go to swing it. Ten four. Tracy swings the mighty machine's 325-foot-long boom arm, and the bucket chews 82-ton mouthfuls from the layer of dirt known as overburden. I get to operate the, the biggest toy in the sandbox, and it's really cool. Man, this takes too much time. To keep up with the pace of production, another digger operates in tandem with the drag line. Yes, sir, go ahead. Don Hobbs operates the Bucyrus 495B mobile shovel. 614 coming at you. With its 6600 volt electrical power supply, it's not on the same scale, but it's still a mean machine. It's a monstrosity of a machine. That bucket holds 80 tons of dirt. 215, you mind backing up another 30 foot? I love operating that shovel. It's a challenge every day. But at an altitude of 7,000 feet, the air is dry, and the mine won't allow the big diggers to operate if they start kicking up too much dust. If there is a situation where the dust is overwhelming us, we will shut down. A shutdown costs the mine thousands of dollars, but with low visibility, lives are at stake, and they might have no choice. The mighty walking drag line has to clear 80,000 tons of dirt to uncover the mine's 15-foot thick coal seam. But the big diggers won't work unless the operators know the dust is under control. Unless this water truck shows up soon, we're gonna have to stop. About time you show up, get us some water. I'll fix this up right. The water truck arrives in time to damp down the dust, and the massive diggers get back to work. As far as the mud and the dust, there's a real fine line between not enough water and too much water. For haul truck drivers like Connie Archuleta, the extra moisture is bad news. It's definitely dangerous around here. The biggest problem with those big puddles like that that are deep, um, we have the wheel motors on both sides of the tires. They're electric. Electricity and water do not mix. Even shallow water can cause serious problems for the 320-ton haul trucks, which take away the coal revealed by Tracy's drag line. We have a lot of spring thaw. The frost is starting to come through, making it treacherous driving for the trucks. The potential of trucks sliding into each other during the thaw is pretty significant. Water slick roads are devastating to haul trucks. Um, you can roll one over. You never want to do damage to your equipment. The entire mine depends on these four-story-high behemoth trucks. If they can't drive,
the hard work done by Tracy and the walking drag line will count for nothing. Kalawayo Mine, Colorado. The mighty walking drag line has to clear 80,000 tons of rubble by sundown to uncover the mine's coal seam. But operator Tracy has noticed a problem. Yeah, I'm kind of dragging the ropes over here. Can you come cut the edge for me? Yes, sir. I'll be right there. The ropes are the 3.2-inch thick steel cables which control the 30-foot-wide bucket arm. The problem with the ropes dragging on the edge of the spoil where I'm digging is it wears the ropes out and you get premature failure. The only way to stop the ropes dragging is to clear earth from around the base of the drag line with a bulldozer. It extends the life and we can cut that edge with the dozer and keep from dragging the ropes in the rock or the dirt. And just do the best you can and then it'll smooth her out with the bucket. This job demands inch-perfect control of the dozer on a steep gradient at the edge of a 50-foot precipice. The consequences of getting it wrong are serious. With premature failure in the ropes, there's extreme danger. The rope or chain could break and actually come back into the cab of the drag line. The man at the dozer controls is someone Tracy can trust, his son, Jason. I want you to it. Yeah, that's perfect right there. The drag line's up and running, but the smaller Bucyrus 495B shovel that was helping out has been pushed hard. When operator Don comes back from his lunch break, he gets an unpleasant surprise. Holy freaking cow, what are you doing in my office? While the maintenance team work, the Bucyrus won't run. Does this mean I'm going to get to dig today? Going to no. make my shovel better? No, we're going to be working on this most of the afternoon and into the night. Today, they've shut my shovel down. That's putting a lot of pressure on the drag line. The drag line's really going to have to bust butt to cover for what I don't get done. With Don's shovel out of the game, hitting today's quota is a tall order for Tracy and the drag line. Kalawayo Mine, Colorado. The Titanic walking drag line has shifted 40,000 tons of dirt. But that's only half the day's quota, and the big machine is feeling the strain. It, that don't look right. The left drag hitch pin is sticking out there a ways on the outside. I'll set the bucket down, maybe you can go out and look at it. On the way. If a pin holding the giant bucket in place works loose, the consequences could be catastrophic. So Tracy calls in an engineer to assess the damage. The shut up the there. It's not good news. The two foot long pins in good shape, but the bolt that holds it in place, the keeper, is shot. And replacing it is a big job. We've got a keeper gone on one of our pins on a drag hitch. Can you build her back on for us? 10 4, on my way. With the deadline looming, welder Press Merriam is on the scene in minutes. Get us back in the dirt. I'll get you back in the dirt. Well, check it out. I think I've got it to where you won't tear it up again. Yeah, that'll work for now. Finally, the drag line is back working at full speed. In spite of dust and meltwater, the workers of the Kalawile mine have beaten their towering daily quota.